of tea. That'll need a spoonful of sugar. Actually, some people are really gross with this stuff. They put in about four or five spoonfuls. Have you ever wondered how much sugar you could really dissolve in a cup of tea? Well, the answer is really quite surprising, but you can't see what's happening in tea, so I'll put that to one side and show you with a cup full of water. First of all, we'll take that cup full, put it in a saucepan, and because more sugar dissolves in hot things than cold, we'll put that on to boil. In the meantime, we'll measure some sugar out. OK, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's what some people have. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That looks really crude. Let's try a bit more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That surely couldn't dissolve. It's about as much as the water was. Still, we'll push our luck. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, and 28 nearly fills that glass with sugar. OK, it would be cheating to do that while the water was boiling, so let's take it off and tip the sugar in to that cupful and see where it all goes. Doubles the volume. Let's keep stirring and see what happens. And it's amazing... But that 28 spoonfuls has in fact dissolved entirely into the cupful of water. You can see there are no crystals of sugar left at all. Sugar is extraordinarily soluble. Those particles of sugar dissolve and they fit between the particles of water in solution and they make a syrup rather like that. Of course, the size does increase a bit. You'd never fit it back into the cup. Well, what does that mean? It means this, that when you next have somebody for a cup of tea and they take 31 spoonfuls of sugar, you can tell them not to be greedy. Only have 30. 